The lawyer for a Kennesaw State University secretary says that he's got evidence of kickbacks and fraud inside the school's highly regarded dining services division. Now, the allegations are included in a demand letter sent to the school. It's asking for $1.5 million. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis first revealed the questionable behavior inside the department, and now he's back with the latest. Those allegations are spelled out in this letter advising the secretary plans to file a lawsuit because of the way she's allegedly been treated since our report broke in October, an investigation that now involves the GBI. The enterprise that's being run at, at Kennesaw State University, taxpayers should be alarmed. It's pathetic. Do you think KSU really wants to know the truth here? No, no. No, they don't. They want to stick their head in the sand and pretend this isn't happening. Holding little back, attorney Mike Pugliese shared with the Fox of I team what he's already sent KSU and the GBI. Evidence he claims proves former school dining services director Gary Coltec was secretly being paid on the side by KSU vendors. Plus, raising questions about how much food is really grown at the KSU owned and operated farm. It's complete fabrication of numbers. It's home cooking the books. Student volunteers helped run Hickory Grove Farm a few miles from the KSU main campus. It was quiet when we visited last week. The greenhouses prepped for cleaning. The food grown out here at the farm eventually winds up at Kennesaw State University. The farm to table idea has given the school a national reputation. And riding that reputation was the school's star dining services director, Gary Coltec. He suddenly resigned after we began asking questions about his outside business dealings and why he was using his secretary, Tracy Nunn, to do his private work on on KSU time. Um, I just did um, the work that was required of me as my job duties for KSU by instructed by Gary Coltec. Coltec managed millions of tax dollars at the school. Our investigation was the latest in a string of questionable decisions stretching back years. Yet up until our story, Coltec always kept his job, prompting the state attorney general's office to ask the GBI to also investigate KSU administrators for failing to act. Employees have been coming forward since uh, your investigation, have been calling me, sending me emails uh, with, with other information. Like these harvest logs at the KSU farm from August of this year. They list how many pounds of each vegetable was supposedly transferred to the school dining services facilities. But on multiple places, the weights listed on the transfer form don't match the weight from the actual harvest logs. 4.5 pounds of zucchini harvested from a specific location suddenly became 45 pounds on the transfer form. 7.5 pounds of green peppers harvested, yet 75 pounds of green peppers supposedly delivered. In his letter to the school, attorney Pugliese called this another example of criminal activity committed by Coltec and his farm manager, Robin Taylor. You know the allegation is that you were cooking the books by claiming that you were I growing have, more food and I delivering no more idea. food than you really were growing out here. Please uh, contact KSU um, Media Relations. These are serious allegations. You realize that I want to make sure you have a chance to respond because you're named in this in this allegation. Well, I'm sure that KSU legal will handle that for me. KSU had no comment and would not answer any of our questions. Bugley says his client has been passed over for a raise, while others connected to Gary Coltec, including that farm manager Robin Taylor, have actually been promoted since our investigation aired. His letter asked for $1.5 million to avoid a whistleblower lawsuit. That's the only way I know to, to, to get KSU's attention. No word on when the GBI will finish its investigation into how tax dollars were spent at KSU and whether KSU administrators intentionally looked the other way because their star chef was making the school look good. Randy Travis, Fox 5 News.